Yeah, that's the combine idling, warming up. Finally gonna shoot a little bit of harvest video here. I've been going, oh, started up just over a week ago. Haven't got around to shooting any video. Got shut down by rain for several days. Just finished up the East Canola field yesterday evening. So now, I'm gonna start up on uh, this little field of oats out here. The one I was swathing in the last video, I think. We'll see how that goes. It's been down roughly two weeks, so I'm thinking it ought to be ready. And with rain coming for Sunday, two days away, I'd rather see them harvested than laying out through more rain. A little tight getting through here. I got a couple of pickup belts that are looking pretty rough. Might be lucky to last the day on this one. This one, the lacing is starting to go too. I got one spare new one in the yard. And I got a new one coming. So, let's see what we can do here. Could stand to do a little tree trimming here. It's all right for the pickup header, but no way you do it with a straight header. Oh yeah, I better shut this thing down so I don't hit a tree. Pretty hard to shoot video and uh, concentrate on your... Some nice swath out here. In some places where it's pretty thin, hard to pick up, but... I guess I'll get what I can anyway. Pouring into the hopper pretty good. flow always leaves such a nice little compact swath of straw behind it. I'm probably going to bale some of this and the rest the cattle can dig through and uh, see if they can find something worth eating in there this fall. Number two. I think that's probably full enough. Well, it's a good thing we got a short haul. We're a little overloaded there. be all right. Nice to be able to raise a little dust in the field with a grain truck. A few years ago we didn't dare bring it into the field for uh, soft ground and getting stuck in the mud.
still grinding away here on the oats. I imagine another truckload should just about finish the field. The sun's like a red ball in the western sky. It must be smoke in the air or maybe dust from combining. I don't know. It doesn't look normal anyway. That was a few short clips of the oat harvest for 2020 using the 1660 CIH combine and the old International Lodestar 1971 model. These oats turned out pretty fair. Weighing in at 44 pounds per bushel. They were good and dry and uh, Anyway, enjoy the video.